Hey guys, this is Jess. So I am painting a uh, VW Bug. It was pretty cool. I was on my lunch break one day and there was just no way out of the fast food restaurant that I was at. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a right out of here, which threw me into a neighborhood. And I figured I'd take some back roads, pull up my navigation in case I get too lost. And, uh, see if I could find my way back to work. And I did, but I saw this beautiful little bug just sitting in a small field and it was just, I don't know, it looked kind of lonely and the sun was hitting it just in a really nice way. And I took a photo of it and um, I had this cool palette of grays by Jack Richardson that I hadn't used yet. And it just seemed to fit what was going on. Um, all the colors that you see there are very muted versions of the colors. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of brightness or vibrancy. There's just a, maybe a little bit of coolness in the greens and uh, just seemed like it would be a really cool thing to try out. So uh, here I'm using an alcohol wash to basically fill all that light colored part of the paper. That is a UART 600 grit that I'm using there usually handles alcohol wash really well, doesn't warp or uh, have any issues with me. Um, a little rough on things and heavy handed, so it's a great way to fill the tooth early. I'm establishing some of the darks here after I've kind of got some of the color palette in and uh, the darks are really going to make the lights glow really well. So getting those darks in and then, you know, washing that in as well. The entire picture, with the exception of the taillights, which there was just no pinks or reds in, in the kit, and I wanted to get those little bits of red glow. Uh, and then the underpainting in the navy blue, I use a Faber-Castell, one of their harder pastels, which is really good for line art. It doesn't leave a whole lot of pastel behind. And so I typically use harder pastels for darker colors and lighter pastels for my um, brighter colors and, and the softer pastels, sorry, the softer pastels deposit much easier and they're typically while I work dark to light, I like to put a lot of my darks down and then a lot of my brights down and that helps me find my middle values really well. Um, so I hope you enjoy this painting. It's my very first video and I um, just wanted to share my methodology with you. The uh, the Gray's Richardson palette is something that I really, really enjoyed working with, and I think it brings a really nice, I guess you could say, mood or environment to the painting. It makes um, the, the bug really stand out, and I'm a huge fan of VW bugs. I grew up with VWs in my family. My grandparents had a thing. My cousins had the beetle, and uh, my mom had two VW foxes in a row and if you don't know what a fox is it's kind of what the rabbit was but a little bit longer one of the first wagons before uh, really Subaru was only I think the only other people doing it but those those little wagons that kind of sit up a little high not quite an SUV but still on a car chassis VW was doing it years ago and uh, just have a little heart for VWs and this guy I titled window seat and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me paint this. And I'll try to get my next video up here soon. And I hope you liked it. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, if you'd like to see a final of it, I have it on my Instagram and I'll have the link below.